All right, guys. Second single phase ratio tra uh, transformer question. So what do we got? We got uh, 120 volts on the primary. So this guy here is 120 volts. Sorry, my pen's not working. Give me two seconds here. There we go. Okay. So 120 volts on the primary. And let's see. It looks like we've got a step up transformer. So how do I know it's a step up? Because I'm looking at the number of turns. And I've got, I've got more copper than I've got more electrons. More electrons is going to give me uh, a higher potential on the secondary there. And we can see here that the number of turns on the primary and the secondary is directly proportional to the voltage on the primary and the voltage on the secondary. So let's see, we got a lower number of turns here, higher number of turns here. And that same ratio is going to be seen here for the voltage. Okay, so what's the what's the ratio there, guys? Well, let's take a look. We got, um, let's see, we got 20, 240, and then we got 1,200. So if we take the, the 1,200 and divide it by 240, so again, if we take that 1,200 on the secondary, divide it by 240 on the primary, then we'll find that there are five times as many turns on the secondary. So normally we're looking at a step down transformer. This is just a funky one where we've got a step up and the ratio here is one to five. There's five times as many uh, turns on the secondary there is on the primary. So that means that there's gonna be five times as much voltage on the secondary there. So in order to determine our secondary voltage, we're gonna take our primary voltage and we're going to multiply it by that ratio, right? Because we need to have a higher voltage there. 120 volts times 5 gives us 600 volts on the secondary. Okay, these are always going to be standard voltages. I hate when you open up a textbook and they've got some funky voltage at like 344 volts that you're never going to see. So any of these guys are always going to be standard voltages. 120, 28, 240, 277, 347, 480. Uh, 600 volts, standard voltages that you'd see out in the field. Okay, next thing we need to do now is we've got 600 volts on the secondary. So we've stepped up the voltage. That means that our current is going to be lower. Over here on the primary, the current is going to be higher. So let's see, we need to find the amount of current. Well, we've got 600 volts. that's impressed across 2400 ohms. And so what does that give us in current? 600 divided by 2400, punch that into your calculator, gives us 0.25 amps. Okay, so we got 0 0.25 amps on the secondary, right? That's the lower current. Now we need to find out what our primary current is. So. Take a look, make sure everything's cool before we move on. Now, if we look at the primary current, the primary current is going to be higher, and it's going to be higher by that same ratio. So it's going to be five times higher. So five times our secondary current of 0.25 gives us 1.25 amps on the primary. Last thing we need to do is now find our VA. For single phase, VA is equal to voltage times current. Voltage times current on the secondary, voltage times current on the primary. All right, so if I take a quarter of 600 volts, that gives me 150 VA. VAN is supposed to be equal to VA out. The amount of power that I put into the transformer is essentially the same amount of power as I get out of the transformer. So let's just make sure that this guy ends up being 150 VA as well. 120 volts times 1.25 gives us 150 VA. Ah, yes. Okay, so those guys are essentially equal. All right, guys, that's the second one. Pause here and then move on to the third one. We got one more single phase transformer ratio question before we move into the three phase.